guys got the ASMR and how you guys been how you guys doing it's uh, been a while since I've last uploaded it's because I went back to Indonesia and um, for three months yes I had a lot of fun gained a little weight but that's okay um, hope everyone is staying safe still and uh, it's pretty bad out there in Indonesia um, I was lucky enough to be there and you know hung out with my friends and family and uh, yeah um, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful Anyway, today's video, as the title suggests, is gonna be a massive haul of like just action figures and um, some merch, I guess. Um, and you know, uh, I pre-ordered a lot of stuff before I left, and uh, I didn't know. I I I, did, I forgot that I, I pre-ordered this many stuff. And um, but yeah, guys, like my Jujutsu Kaisen T-shirt. Oh, by the way, I'm using this uh, voice notes on my phone because my mic actually, you know, it's broken. And um, I'm going to buy myself a new mic soon enough, but it's going to be, you know, a few days before that could actually happen. And, you know, before further ado, it's a, it's gonna, it's a long introduction. But by the way, I haven't thanked you guys um, for a dozen subs. And, uh, it's amazing. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy you guys like my content, and um, I'm happy as well that you guys are staying here, um, watching my videos. And yeah, I appreciate you guys for that. By the way, I'm gonna start. Anyway, I'm gonna start with the first big. There, are, there are a lot of stuff with me right now. But uh, first one's going to be White Vision. I mean, on the packaging, it just says the Vision. Some tapping actions. Um, have you, do you guys follow this um, series at all? Like Marvel TV shows on Disney Plus, but it's been amazing. I think the weakest one out of the three would, in my opinion, is um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But other than that, it's been amazing, including Loki. And uh, yeah, this vision is nice, as you can see. Um, I don't want to spoil it, but I mean. This figure itself, it's a spoiler, comes with uh, the, you know, the wings for, the wing parts for um, the Falcon or Captain America now. And uh, yeah, very nice detailed figure, uh, detailed figure, um, it's pretty much the, just the normal vision, but painted white. And nothing to add, I have nothing to add, honestly, but pretty nice figure for just a plain white figure. Um, definitely in the in the wave and uh, as you can see in the back you can be, uh, collect all the figures and build uh, falcon wings and you know you can get Bucky uh, Scarlet Witch Loki all the Disney Plus characters and I have uh, most of them except Bucky I mean all of them except Bucky but anyway let's move on to the next one because you know a lot of stuff to cover oh we're talking about Next one is Loki. I don't know. Do you guys think that looks like Tom Hiddleston? I don't think so, honestly. But it comes with the red wing on the right side. Again, no spoilers, but nice Loki. But his hairline is like all the way back there, and he has a big forehead. I don't know why they did that. As you can see, it says Disney Plus right there. Loki in the back. You can even see Tom Hiddleston. That does not look like Tom. Like the suit looks really nice. I 
think it fits him really well. I thought it would be a little funky, because uh, I read the Sam Wilson as Captain America run on the comics, but in the comics, the costume looks amazing, but I didn't think they could pull it off um, and make it look this good. But yeah, um, I love the show, but not as much as the other two. could have been included um, by itself. I don't know why they did uh, build a figure. I think that's a cheap way to you know, grab money, but I fell for it. <laughs> next up, next up, next up, next up, next up is the Scarlet Witch herself. I love this comic. I mean, this, you know, design. And uh, that actually, the face, I'm sorry, is reflecting because I mean, you could see the setup look very simple setup I have for my SMR videos but Scarlet Witch looks like Elizabeth Olsen right over there yes I think that looks pretty good and also comes with a piece of, of the wing for Falcon so it all came from the same wave and you can see Elizabeth Olsen in the back looking gorgeous I love this show um first three episodes were pretty confusing to most people but I think it was very um, entertaining and uh, made me really curious. So good job, Marvel and Disney. It was amazing. And uh, spots varnished on the top. Got the Scarlet Witch, the Chaos Magic Woman. So I'm gonna read the bio real quick. One of Maximoff's abilities to telekinesis, energy, manipulation, and neuroelectric interfacing allow her to read thoughts and give her targets waking nightmares. And, uh, you know, Scarlet Witch is one of the most, uh, one of the strongest characters in MCU, and, um, you know, um, I think she's my favorite, one of my favorite characters. I don't like Captain Marvel, but I love Scarlet Witch, and, uh, the show just, it was amazing, breathtaking. I, I know some of you will agree with me on that, but yeah. Next up, I, I might not, you know, uh, tell you the stories about each figure like I did last time because um, it's gonna it's gonna be a while to do that it's gonna take a while and next up we have the antagonist I mean no not the antagonist but you know I guess you could call him an anti-hero from the Falcon the Winter Soldier series it's a uh, Baron Zemo the antag antagonist uh, from Civil War but now you know he's not really a villain you know like uh, he's just a broken man and I love his uh, character throughout the series. Very likable guy, very likable actor, and uh, very likable figure as well. Got the mask, uh, he's a baron, so you know, got a lot of money, got the drip going on with the purple and uh, fur coat, amazing looking. This is very comic accurate figure, um, I mean design for the outfit. And as you can see, it looks like that in the comic exactly. I have a comic figure somewhere in my collection, but I think it translates well as well. See, the thing with uh, the Disney Plus shows and what Marvel have been doing recently is that they've been um, having the actors wear like very comic accurate uh, outfits and I appreciate that a lot because, you know, previous movies, they don't look as accurate to the source. Um, but I see them trying now with uh, Scarlet Witch and... and a uh, I, I don't want to spoil it, but anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's amazing that they actually put effort into making the costumes look comic accurate nowadays. Next up, we have. Let me see. Also from Disney, of course, I'm a Disney sucker. Um, one of the best shows I've ever seen. I uh, watched it's the Mandalorian, and it's the antagonist uh, Moff Gideon with the dark saber. Very nice figure. See, I didn't get the chance to look at this figure's clothes because, you know, it was, uh, I didn't open it until recently. So I just, I landed, um, I just got here, uh, what, three, four days ago. Um, I got here and, you know, didn't open the packages, just unpacked my suitcase and stuff. But, that's Moff Gideon. Looks amazing. I don't think I will open this because all the Mandalorian figures I have, only certain ones I, I've opened up, but, um, I want to keep this in packaging and very nice. 
has art on the side and uh, bio reads imperial moth gideon is fiercely determined to capture a specific quarry clever and formidable gideon valley's power and knowledge um his expression in the season of finale um was priceless um yeah when he saw when he saw that uh you know the jedi if you know what i'm talking about is it a show but i'm, I'm pretty sure it kind of blew up on the internet so i'm sure anyone knows who i'm talking about but it was amazing he was a smart villain not necessarily powerful but very smart guy very smart villain love this figure love the character love the actor perfect you, you know i just appreciate a lot of things in life so i'm sorry if i'm not that critical but i do love this character a lot next up is uh, star wars uh, from clone wars it's just a uh, mandalorian super commando just uh, adding up my Mandalorian um, troops collection. So, uh, again, it's from uh, Clone Wars and very nice art on the side as well. I think all the, um, some of the figures have like uh, connecting art on the sides. You see this uh, packaging art? Uh, yeah, they connect, but I didn't buy from the way so I don't think I could do that but pretty nice figure to put on the shelf very colorful uh, very sleek I love it and the bio rate start most Mandalorians modified their armor to reflect the legions of Dark Lord the super commandos wore red and black and some even fashion horns atop their helmet as you can see the horns just resemble Dark Maul the color scheme and stuff like that very cool okay next up next up next up we got Anakin Anakin, Anakin, Anakin Skywalker from the Clone Wars. Um, this figure is a Target exclusive. Um, look, the face sculpt does not look like the Anakin from the cartoon or nor the um, one from the movies. It's kind of funny. I think it kind of looks like Tom Holland. What do you guys think? I kind of think it looks like Tom Holland. Again, the packaging looks nice. It's a 50 Lucasfilm uh, anniversary, I think something like that but Anakin Skywalker in the back and uh yeah it's the first 50 years of Lucasfilm with figures by inspired by Star Wars this one does not have a bio but everyone knows who Anakin is so no spoilers there packaging and it's 
side is this gorgeous seven inch scale figure i mean look at that and uh, it's 20 bucks i'm gonna compare this to you know hasbro iron man hasbro's iron man and i just cannot fathom i, I just don't understand what this 20 dollars figure compared to hasbro's watch watch this Let's be honest, this one is a superior figure. Look at the paint apps, look at the details, look at the articulation. It's not even like, our, the articulation are really good as well. So I don't know what Hasbro is doing, but this company CD toys, oh my God, this looks like a mini hot toy. Look at it, oh my gorgeous figure, very shiny paint. Paint apps look super clean as you can see. Yeah, this is Mark V from Iron Man 2. Uh, if you guys remember, I had that suitcase scene uh, when I was a kid. I watched that. It was amazing. First time seeing that, it was gorgeous. Next up is the same company, City Toys. I had to grab a couple of figures that had other armors, like the, sec the second armor and um, Mark 85 and uh, Mark 6. And yeah, uh, they have uh, 42 as well. But again, same thing, uh, very presentation, 10 out of 10, packaging looks amazing. This magnet is pretty uh, chunky too. Um, see, it reads in Chinese, I think, in the bag, very holographic and stuff like that, very fancy box. Compared to Marvel Legends, I'm sorry Hasbro, I love you, but man, this company is just making gorgeous figures. I mean, um, guys, take a look at that, 7 inch figure looking this good. Uh, I mean, even SH figure arts, uh, you know, if you, uh, for you who don't know, uh, SH, SH figure arts, Mayfax, Figma, or like import companies like from Japan, I think, most of them, um, they make also uh, Marvel figures, they have the license for that, but this, uh, uh, in my humble opinion, this figure, this company just kills it, I mean, look at it, uh, smooth paint and just shiny, gorgeous looking paint. And articulation, I mean, I'm only holding it with one hand, but the articulation is not bad at all. Just, you know, it's a lit, little limited, but other than that, it's amazing, it's gorgeous. And the static, just, this looks, it's gonna look great on my shelf. I know that for a fact. And next up is related to Anakin and Star Wars stuff. It's a general Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, from Clone Wars as well. Uh, Dark and exclusive, same way for as uh, previous uh, Anakin, as you can see by the packaging, the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm. Okay, the face actually looks like Ellen McGregor, the actor who plays um, Obi-Wan in the prequels, but again, I'm not opening the ser uh, this series because that's what he looks like in the animation animated series. That does not look like the animated series at all. It looks like Ewan McGregor. But again, I'm kind of disappointed. I came with full, uh, this parcel all folded because I love the packaging. The packaging looks amazing. But yeah, um, nice, nice, nice. Uh, next up, next up, next up. Okay, let's go into the anime side of things. In my previous haul video, um, I showed you guys I bought a figurine of Jizuru, uh, me, uh, from Rent the Girlfriend. And this time I got the whole squad with me, with uh, Sumi, the first one. I haven't opened this one yet. I mean, most of these figures I haven't opened. Uh, it's just uh, unpacking and just cleaning my room. It was it was time consuming. Okay, and uh, next up is uh, random Power Ranger from Lost Galaxy. Uh, one of my childhood heroes, um, Power Rangers, but this one is definitely one of my favorite series. I don't remember a lot from the series, but Lost Galaxy Ranger probably gonna sell this one because I'm gonna cut off my, uh, gonna reduce my uh, Power Ranger collection because they all look the same, let's be honest. Probably gonna keep the Mighty Morphin, that's it, the OGs. This Power Rangers figures do not have bios um, on the back of the packaging, but yeah, 
this uh, okay looking figure I guess <laughs> okay next up next up is everyone's favorite character especially from the series it's mommy John 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 uh, the blonde girl uh, who everyone loves from the series uh, if you do not get that uh, I'm being sarcastic everyone hates this character by the way but yeah, um, I just gotta get it just for the main characters to be sitting on uh, on my shelf. Very nice. Okay, let's stop talking about Mami Chan because she is, you know. Next up is of course Ruka. Uh, everyone, there, you know, everyone loves either uh, Ruka, Jizuru, or Sumi. But you know, the good I have. Saying on my shelf. Very nice. Seems like I haven't opened. Like I said, I haven't opened it. Um, yeah. Very odd pose. I mean, it's not odd, but whatever. I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, one of my favorite characters also from the series. And next up, next up. Oh god. I feel like I've been doing this for. Announced. I was so excited. I have to pre order more than one to, uh, for one to keep in the packaging and one to have them sitting on my shelf. It's none other than Modoc himself. A uh, very gorgeous looking figure for all. For Hasbro standard, this is, you know, blew other figures out of the water.
microphone picks up, picks things, uh, sounds pretty well, but you can see the pieces over here, some crinkle noises. But yeah, um, not experience at all with building, gets, as I said, but I will give my best, and, uh, and I have to apparently paint the, I mean, not apparently, I know you, I had to paint it, but we'll see how it goes, but here's the face. Very nice, very detailed. Um, apparently, there's gonna be a company who will be making Attack and Titan toys, just diff action figures like. Uh, and I will definitely buy those. They look promising. It looks amazing. for 
the same series, nothing to show, just, you know, a bunch of accessories, Echo, and it's a side, side art, same thing from the other one, and uh, next up is House of X, Wolverine,
noises from the show probably uh, Tanjiro saying things or maybe just sound effects but you know I don't know I'm still contemplating if I should open this or not it's not that heavy to be completely honest with you guys but okay um, related to the Demon Slayer series uh, we got a uh, figure this way but i just had to get this video out of the way um i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you oh, wait 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 i actually forgot one more enormous thing how can i forget all right this is gonna be a little difficult but bear with me look at this look at this massive helmet
subscribers and thank you again for watching this video like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next video